Happy Wednesday morning on this January 11th of 2023. I can't believe we're already 11 days into the new year. It seems like Christmas was just yesterday, uh, it feels like. Uh, thank you for joining me. Let us begin this morning uh, in prayer. We gather this morning together, Lord, to greet you with a rising heart, with an open mind, and with eager ears to hear your word. Lord, each day you give us is a new day that we can grow deeper in understanding and deeper in our relationship with you. We begin today in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The My morning devotional this morning is, uh, it is, I will hear. <clears throat> and it says, Dear Lord, I praise you for being the God who hears. I praise you that you know my heart even before I do. I rest in the fact that you are answering my prayer even before I pray. Help me be more like you, Lord. So often I don't take time to listen with love to the people around me. I need your ears and your heart, Lord. Speak to me and through me. Amen. Our New Testament reading for this coming Sunday comes to us from 1 Corinthians. And it is chapter 1, verses 1 through 9. Uh, it is Paul uh, writing to the church in Corinth, and it says, Paul, called to be an apostle of Christ Jesus by the will of God and our brother Sosthenes, to the church of God that is, is, that is in Corinth, to those who are sanctified in Christ Jesus, called to be saints together with all those who in every place call on the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, both their Lord and and our ears grace to you and peace from God, our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. I give thanks to my God always for you because of the grace of God that has been given you in Christ Jesus. For in every way you have been enriched in him, in speech and knowledge of every kind, just as the testimony of Christ has been strengthened among you so that you are not lacking in any spiritual gift as you wait for the revealing of our Lord Christ Jesus. He will also strengthen you to the end so that you may be blameless on the day of our Lord Jesus Christ. God is faithful. By him you were called into the fellowship of his Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. So I'm gathering a theme from our readings, which is not unusual. Uh, the gospel is kind of leads the way. Um, and then there are uh, Old and New Testament readings and Psalms that kind of help to support or point to it um, and back and forth. But the theme that is really coming out to me in, um, in this week, and maybe it's I don't know, maybe it's because of where I am right now in, in life and where I am in thought and attitude, is this notion that God is our strength. Uh, God strengthens us. God endures for us. God, uh, he plows through. I mean, God is the one that can make all things happen. And our abilities our talents, our times, our strengths, our endurances, our attitudes, all of that can come from him if we let him. And I think that's possibly the message that is kind of trying to get down to me is uh, I, if you don't know me that well, I'm going to give you a little insight. I tend to be a little controlling. Uh, I very much like things to be uh, very ordered, very um, within my 
direction. I mean, I, I, I like to be able to have some control over my surroundings. And there are certain things that are just not within my control. And I think that God is telling me, stop fighting so hard. Stop putting all of your energies into trying to drive this train that I've put out there called your life. Sometimes you need to sit back and you need to rest and you need to let me be the one that strengthens you. Uh, you need let me, you need to let me be the one that uh, that takes control. And I have found every time that I've done that in my life, because there have been many times that I have tried to steer the boat and be the captain and all those things, and. When I just give it up, when I just toss it up in the air and say, all right, God, do your thing, it works out amazing how that happens. Uh, definitely, in some cases, not anywhere near what I thought it would be uh, or what I was trying to make happen. Um, things that at the time I thought, this is not no not sure where this is going and this is not what I wanted but once it passed and in retrospect I uh, realized that that definitely is what needed to happen in my life to get me to where I am today and so again if you are just feeling like you're beating your head against a wall some days stop doing it take a rest on the rock that is Jesus Christ and God our Father. He is the one who, ins who strengthens us. He is the one who endures. And he is the one who is always and forever faithful. He hears us before we speak. He answers our prayers before we even realize what they are. He is the one that is in control. Let us pray. Father, we often try to take our destiny into our own hands. We work and we fight and we slave away to create the life that we think is necessary and needed. And Lord, there are times that you just need to pick us up right out of that and place us on a rock and say, wait a minute, take some time, relax, and let me be the one that does the work. Let me be the one that takes control. Let me be the one that steers your boat. Lord, as we go throughout the day, if we find ourselves uh, frustrated, if we find that we are becoming tired of the path that we're on, Lift us, strengthen us, and keep us in your light and in your path. Help us to remember those today who are struggling in so many different ways. Be it mind, body, soul, or spirit, may your healing hand come over them. We appreciate you, we love you, and we praise you. In your name, amen. Let us begin today, as we do each day, through the words that Jesus taught us. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Uh, on our church calendar today, we have the Highlanda Welka tonight at 6.30. Uh, and the uh, confirmation class is meeting at 7 at Evangelical. So if either one of those apply to you, um, there is your daily reminder. We have no church-wide celebrations today that I'm aware of, but if you're out there and you're watching and you have some kind of a celebration going on, 
today or any day, know that God is with you. God celebrates with you as do we. And may God bless your day, whatever it may be. I will be back tonight at 8.30 to see you again. Until then, I hope you have a blessed day and that God and you feel God with you every single step that you take. Take care. I'll see you tonight at 8.30. Bye-bye.